The weather this week in the northern French Alps in the Tarentaise Valley has actually been another crazy week. We've had warm, wet and windy and I really hope this is not climate change. So stick around and let's rewind the clock back to the beginning of the week. Now before I start I just want to say a big thank you, Bizu, thank you everyone for supporting this channel and I reached a milestone of 4,000 subscribers here a few days ago so thank you everybody for your support and if you can keep smashing that like button and comment button it really helps the channel so thank you for that. Stick around to the end for the tip of the week. <laughs> so Tuesday came with sunshine. So we've been blessed with a bit of precipitation. I can't say I'm getting too excited. It's about 15, 20 centimeters, but the difficulty we've had is that we've had a lot of wind. So there's a lot of wind cross and wind blown, so it makes it very hard to read where to go. So with the high winds today, it's actually very pleasurable just to be on the beginner run here in Lavache. So if you're a beginner, this is a good place to start. It's the back of Lavache and you've got a button lift which will take you up. Happy days. Yeah. I think that's what happened on that one turn. My left thing was kind of going. Yeah. How was that? Good. It's great. It's it's fabulous. It's really helping me a lot. Yeah, good. That's it. So Wednesday morning, very early on, sadly came the rain and the rain has gone up to 2,600. You can see over here on St. Foy, like all the snows come off of the trees. So smaller, lower resorts are really starting to struggle and the snow limit seems to be creeping up higher and higher and there isn't any base. So any snow that we do have seems to completely deteriorate or disappear. So Wednesday, just on the mountain, it was just really warm and windy and you can see the effects of the rain. Here we are in Ski Man and we've literally got some peeling, we've got a little bit of slab avalanches, more peeling down there as well. And the gr snow is really heavy, it's just heavy but it's at least it's soft. The avalanche level's gone up to three. We have lots of dead people. <laughs> wow, it is like four seasons in one day. If you go down on the south of slopes, it's really soft and spring conditions. And then when you come up here, in the bowl of Val d'Isere it's really hard conditions underneath the foot. It's so windy, all the fresh snow is just being blown off. And with all the rain you put just sliding down. Everything must have been so loose. Yeah. Because of the sun. Sure is. Heavy. Like wet, slow avalanches. And even coming onto the piece. So Friday came with the wind, more wind, and at warm temperatures. And you can see some patches of snow. 
Real mixture of conditions on the piece. So the piece at the moment are really running variable. You've got to really pick where you go and when to go. So some slopes are a lot icier and have been frozen and other slopes are like south facing in the afternoon. It's been really nice and soft and even mogul like. Today on Friday, we have only got 66 lifts actually open as a lot of wind is at the top of the mountain and we've got a lot of closure because of that. So looking into next week, you'll be pleased to know that we have got solid sunshine pretty much forecasted. So get on that 50 sun cream factor, get the sunnies on and expect a nice warm week. Temperatures are going to be hanging around literally from minus two to four degrees at 2,600 meters. Now, because we've had some rain coming up to 2,600, it's really affected our off piece. Even the avalanche level has gone down to a level two stroke three. It's pretty tricky out there. In certain places, you'll find some snow, really wind crud, and uh, it's just really tricky. So make sure you pick up a guide or instructor who knows what they're doing and where to go. It's so hot. It's like three degrees at 2,400 meters. Crazy weather. Did you know that Storm Jocelyn, that's my name, my real name, hit the UK and Scotland this week and caused complete chaos? So, my coffee stop this week is actually in Braceros. Okay, Braceros, which is in Lavashe, um, team. A shout out to Colin and Luke C. Thank you so much for my coffee. It really helps me to make these videos and I'm a bit of a coffee snob. So here I am in Braceros for a coffee after work and thank you very much. If you'd like to donate me a coffee, I'll put the link down below. Now the tip of this week is if you arrive on a Saturday, really avoid the queues for buying the lift pass on Sunday morning. So really click into the T-Net or Valdez Air Net purchase online and use that quick buy button and machine to actually get your lift pass so you can avoid all the lift queues Sunday morning. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. So because of all the wind and the, the rain we've had, we've had rain up to 2,600 meters. No two degrees, one degrees, minus degrees. So looking into next week, it is gonna be some sunshine. So slap that sun cream on, slap the, uh, the got on it. Here's to a shout out for, no, cut. Oh my God, that is terrible.